hello guys and welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to be addressing some questions that have um, been asked by some of my subscribers and just uh, people in general um, so yeah here it is and the first question is how long have I been driving so I've had my class A CDL for five years five years and three months now and um, Scott has had his for three years and like eight months. So I've actually um, driven a little bit longer than he has, which brings me to the next question. Have I always been, have I ever driven solo? Yes, I have. I was a solo um, over the road driver for, uh, I did a whole year by myself at one company, which I really love that company, but whenever Scott and I decided to go back as teams, um, we decided to go um, see what else was out there, pretty much. So, yeah, okay. And then another question that I had was, uh, do I know how to drive a manual transmission? Yes, I do. So, my brother Johnny used to be uh, owner operator. He had his own truck, so he took me on his truck with him and started showing me how to uh, drive. I think it was an 18 speed, did I just say that? So, anyway, so because of him, I had you know confidence to just go ahead, take the plunge, get my license. But yes, I have no restrictions on my driver's license. So I do know how to drive a manual transmission. I might be a little rusty, but I can still do it. And another question that I had is, what am I hauling? So right now I'm pulling a 53 foot dry van trailer. And I have, um, whenever I was uh, solo driving, I was pulling a 53 foot reefer. And for those of you who don't know, a reefer is a refrigerated unit. So, I've actually hauled milk as well. I worked with my dad and my brother hauling milk um, for several months. And uh, I just didn't really like it because you have to climb up onto this hatch. Uh, climb up the ladder on the side of the tank up to the hatch because you have to make your hatch while you're loading and while you're unloading. And... I'm a little bit afraid of heights, but if, I mean, I can fly on a plane, uh, no problem, but if I'm counting on my own two feet, yeah, that's where I have a little bit of a hard time and it's scary for me. I do also have my hazmat endorsement and I have all fuel and I didn't like that. I don't like the loading and the unloading of the fuel. I can drive all day long, but uh, not the loading and the unloading. I was afraid I was going to somebody up or myself. <laughs> Don't want to hurt anyone. And let me see. I think I had another question. Oh yeah. So how do our schedules work um, as team drivers? So I drive from 4 p.m. until 4 a.m. And Scott's schedule is from 4 a.m. until 4 p.m. So we just adjust our times um, as needed depending on the loads that we have and it's been working out for us and this is actually not the first time that I've been on a team with Scott we've teamed before and you know by trial and error this is what works for us so guys we're actually going home for a couple of days um, I'm gonna be filming so that y'all can see what it's like uh, when I get to go home for a couple of 